and Ganga manages to sneak it over the front of the iron. Shot goes up and it's good. Malale, what a way to finish out this. Malale rattles home another three. He is on fire right now in the minute of action. Oh, and he's run away with himself there. Dundao will bring it back the other way behind the back for the three ball. Nails the three. What a phase of play for Angola. They've come alive. Cote d'Ivoire were down by 17 and came back to win by one. Shot from way, way downtown. The logo three is good. No foul called. Not sure. It should either be a charge or a block for me. And Lukeni with a two-handed flush. By Fernandez. I'm surprised we haven't seen Malare earlier here in the third quarter. Oh, three on no one break. And Malare pulls down the ring for the two. Floor quite slippery as we see her. 15 points for him. Cote d'Ivoire go the other way and get the score. Malale flying down the court. What a play! Absolutely everything in the lot. The shot is off target. And Kone will bring it back the other way. Drives full speed and there's the follow put back. That's a big play by Sidibe. Times the follow perfectly and flushes. Kone, mid-range two. Awkward looking shot, but gets it to go. That will be impacting the players. They know how big this game is, how important it is. There is only five spots available for African teams, and these games mean so much. And what a play. Drop stepping to the bucket. Baseline drive gets the score for Fana. And that is out to double digits. Will they go for the three or will they go for the quick two? Dominguez. Steps back, three. Nails the three. That is a big shot from Yerson Dominguez. Goes inside, gets the shot away, gets the score and draws the foul. This is why I didn't understand. Traveling violation, and that will be the final buzzer. What a game we've had here. What a spectacle. This one truly was a roller coaster of a matchup between two.